Hi, I'm Arielle, and I'm about to go upstairs to Jill Chase's house. She's a Holocaust survivor. She's going to teach me how to make this dish called Stamp Pot, which is made with kale, potatoes, and worst. Let's go. Oh, wow. Come on in. Thank you. Join the party. Woo. Back here. Put it on the couch. I'll just put it over here. Okay. It's a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. I do the best I can. <laughs> so, you're going to help me cook? Yeah. Do you want to show me the kitchen? Absolutely. All right, let's get to it. And what does this dish mean to you? Why do you like it so much? I remember my mom cooking this dish the day of Passover before the first Seder. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do too much cooking because everything was Pesach thick and everything was to have to. Right. So she made a simple pot, stamp pot, one pot, everything in the pot, and you cooked it. Okay, so uh, let's go cooking. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I see all these signs everywhere about uh, not liking to cook, but it looks like you did. Not liking to cook. Where see, is... I understand the concept of cooking. Oh, that's cooking. just a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you want to chop? Rip my knot? Yeah. Yeah. Get ripping here. Just rip it up a little. Oh, okay. But today, I wouldn't get married again. No? How come? That's enough. <laughs> but you know, I don't mind having a friend, I mean, a nice guy. Yeah, do you date? I'm very picky. I'm going to do it like this. Oh, wow. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> Maybe a little more water. Are these like already cooked? Yeah. Okay. So we're just making them a little toasty. This looks super easy to yeah, make. isn't it? Yeah, and I mean, besides all the fat and the beef, pretty healthy, lots of kale. My girlfriend made a flower arrangement for me. Oh, oh that's so sweet. Just leave it, I'll get it. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. You're a good girl. You don't want me to help you. Well, I mean, I just... Put this over here. My country on it. Yeah. Holland. So you do have a little. Oh, this is from Hawaii. Chachkas. Yeah, I have chachkas. Um. Okay. So while we wait for this yeah. to cook, we we don't have any more preparation to do, right? No. Okay. Let's uh, chat a little bit. All right. Um. So can you tell me a little bit about um when you left your house? When you were younger, so you're, you're a Holocaust survivor. Yes, I was born in April 1941. Mm. I was a baby in the Holocaust. But I remember only things from after the Holocaust was finished over. And then when I was six, I remember my brother being born. Wow. But my parents survived, my sisters survived, but no other family. My parents had a baby in April 41 just when Hitler was in charge. And if they would take the baby with them to hide, you can't do that. So they kept me in the hospital for six months. Right, because you would cry and right. then people would And then the it. nuns took me in. The nuns at a convent? Yes, and they were really, as far as I told, you know, they were very nice. Mm -hmm. I think the potatoes are there. Oh boy. Would you ever put schmaltz in this? Yeah, yeah, you could, but I have margarine, but you don't need it. Okay. So far, so good. Want to taste it? Yeah. Go ahead. Is it tasty? Mm hmm. That's really good. I don't I usually like spicy food, but this is really oh, good. I don't get too spicy either. Cheeky boom, cheeky boom. Already, my piece of art. Grazie, te avon. Buon pomeriggio. Hmm. Good. This is delicious. It's the first time I've ever had it, but does it taste like your mom's? Gassi? Mm -hmm. A little. Ooh. 
Hola.